Inotropic receptors are ligand-gated ion channel, whereas metapotropic receptors act via GPCR signaling. Let's look at a postsynapse to understand the inotropic receptors. Inotropic receptors are ligand-gated ion channel, so when ligand binds, it opens and allows the cationic influx that lead to the change in the membrane potential, and this is the postsynaptic response. In case of metapotropic receptors, they are GPCRs, so after ligand binding, the G protein gets activated and it eventually moves to the adenylate cyclase and eventually activates the enzyme adenylate cyclase which triggers the second messenger response by generating cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP can lead to plethora of downstream events. One example of metapotropic receptor is the dopamine receptors. The D1 dopamine type of receptors are like GS coupled and the D2 dropamine receptors are GI coupled which inhibits adenylate cyclase and D1 activates adenylate cyclase watch video